Arsenal is a gun game on Roblox as many of you guys know and it is enjoyed by thousands of players daily. Arsenal was once a booming game with frequent updates and many large scale content creators producing high quality Arsenal videos. But what happened? Today we're taking a deep dive into why Arsenal YouTubers quit. Okay so first I'm going to talk about two YouTubers and why they quit and then I'm going to talk more generally for the smaller content creators out there such as myself. So we start with the most popular Arsenal YouTuber called Tanga. Many of you guys know Tanga was the best Arsenal aimer in Arsenal's history and is one of the best players to ever play the game. But this is far from the truth and I'll make another video discussing Tanka's real skill in Arsenal. Tanka gained millions of subscribers uploading Roblox Arsenal videos from the end of 2019 to the start of 2021. He was most famous for his level 0 to 100 series, which gained him massive amounts of attention and helped not only his channel grow, but helped Arsenal grow as a game. Tanka came to realise his passion for Arsenal was declining, saying in many of his videos that his love for the game has simply fell short and he was looking for something new and more enjoyable for his channel. Oh, I can't wait for a new FPS game to take over this game man, I'm so done. <laughs> Well, in the middle of 2021, a game arose by the name of Bedwars. Bedwars was a Minecraft inspired game, but most importantly, a PvP game. Tanker has explicitly stated that he loves PvP games such as Rust, Rainbow Six Siege, and many other versus player games. I didn't know my favorite genre of game is actually survival. Before Bed Wars or any other FPS games I've played, I used to play and make videos on survival games. Even my top favorite games of all time are all survival. I know a lot of you guys just want to watch me play Bed Wars, but I This was a great opportunity for Tanka to make the transition into Bed Wars, as Bed Wars was showing great potential at the time. Then Tanka decided to make the switch from Arsenal to Bed Wars and has stayed there ever since mid-2021. Now it was important I started with Tanker, as he was the first big Arsenal YouTuber to leave the community. But now I will talk about Bandites disappearing from the Arsenal community. Bandites was one of the OG Arsenal YouTubers who started in 2019 before Tanker. For some context, Bandites and Tanker were good friends and they previously made different types of content on different games. Some of these games included Booga Booga and Big Paintball. Bandites eventually moved on to Arsenal, which Tanker shortly followed. Bandites has a growing passion for Arsenal, unlike Tanker, and interacted with the devs, strengthening his love for the game. As time went by, Bandites' love for Arsenal only grew, and this showed in his content, creating videos almost daily for about three years, but this was all about to change. As Tanker, the biggest creator, moved away slowly from the dying Arsenal to Roblox Bedwars, Bandites found this opportunity to also make a move to grow his channel and make a name for himself on the Roblox platform. Yet Bandites still had a burning passion for Arsenal and would regularly come back from time to time, especially for the Arsenal 2 Alpha release and beta test. It's time to check out Arsenal Reloaded slash Arsenal 2. So this is actually the Arsenal Reloaded Alpha test or CTE test that is open for the weekend. And we're gonna be checking it out, kind of getting our first impressions on everything. I did hop in for a couple minutes and just checked everything out. And let me just tell you, bro, if you're expecting a whole entirely new game, you, you didn't get it. Boys, Arsenal 2 slash Arsenal Reloaded is finally here, but... Bandite stated he will return to Arsenal 2 when it is fully released, and hopefully his channel will flourish once again. Okay, so that was two examples I just gave there, and now I'm going to talk about a more general consensus on why Arsenal YouTubers quit. So the first point I want to talk about is viewership. As I mentioned earlier, Arsenal was declining ever since the release of Roblox Bedwars. But why was this? Bedwars was a brand new game with lots of possibilities for original content ideas. Now why is this a good point? Well, Rove 
the creators of Arsenal announced they were taking a six month break from regular updates, which made Bedwars the perfect opening for YouTubers to switch games. Ever since 2021, the viewership and general interest of Arsenal has declined, leaving only the small few content creators that are left. Hey guys, so um, yeah, I'm in a pretty tough place right now. As you guys know, it is currently May and the last update we had was the Galactic Pass update which came out on, I think, the 1st of January. And since then, we've had no new content for Arsenal. So I've pretty much been going on five months with just one update. And that update pretty much, the content only lasted for about a month. So for four months, I've been having to make generic Arsenal content and I've pretty much much gotten to the point where I I think I can say I've completely run out of ideas. The next point is burnout. Burnout is real and I myself suffered this uploading Arsenal videos for nearly three years with not much change to the game. It's left long-term content creators to suffer from burnout. This could be due to personal reasons such as education, or simply from the volume of Arsenal everyone has been playing. Remember this game has been out for almost 5 years from its heydays, and people are still playing the game every day, gathering hundreds of levels if not thousands. Burnout is a key point why Arsenal YouTubers have been quitting, as there is no real video ideas out there for anyone, apart from the occasional update. Arsenal basically having no video ideas to do. I have gone off this game for about two months, came back and there is still no video ideas. We had a few with um, A2 and stuff like that, but that's just came and gone now. Last, I want to talk about motivation. Everyone lacks motivation from time to time, even if it's something that you love. If you do it too much, you may lose interest. Considering Arsenal has nearly been out for five years, as I mentioned earlier, Content creators are suffering due to the lack of motivation. This is the reason I quit for a short period of time as I didn't find Arsenal interesting anymore. All of these points mentioned in this video is why Arsenal YouTubers quit. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as, as this helps the video get pushed out and more people in the algorithm. But anyways, here is another video of mine you may like.